students, if you go into the plan this week for image design, you'll notice that we don't have class on Tuesday the 17th, um, and that project one starts. It's due on Sunday, Saturday the 22nd, but if you click here on the project um, task in your plan and go more, it will take you to your two choices. So project number one is Falling Guinea Pigs. If you click on that video, um, you can make sure that you've got I've got the sound off right now, but make sure you have it on. You can adjust the settings and make this speed so that it is slower. So if you find yourself having to constantly pause and rewind and rewind, you can set it on a slower speed to watch it. You are required to start from the very beginning of the video tutorial and follow the directions and create all the layers and use all the selection tools that I have you use. You are going to be finding a background and having a guinea pig and flowers falling from the sky. Does it have to be a guinea pig? No. If you want to find uh, images of puppies falling, you know, from the top of a skyscraper or kittens or anything else, feel free. Okay. Have, have some creative liberty. It doesn't have to be the exact same thing that I did. All right. The other option is an Andy Warhol inspired project so this one would be very cool as well and once again you're going to start the video and you're going to watch it from beginning to end and this one is going to give a short little presentation about who Andy Warhol is and introduce you to some of his art and the different types of color schemes that he used in his artwork you probably recognize some of Andy Warhol's work he was very prolific and um brought mass production of artwork in the 1950s and it was called pop art. Do you recognize this? This is some of his pop art. Really beautiful, um, incredible prints. He always um, used popular figures, thus the word pop art in his artwork. So in this assignment, um, you would be making pop art. Here's somebody who made pop art out of a popular figure, the Statue of Liberty, or a, a still life pop art. So this is a really cool assignment. You'll be making um, basically a quadriptic and uh, it shows you everything step by step, how to how to do everything, how to find the images uh, at Creative Commons and how to create uh, the quadriptic and then how to apply the different selection tools so that you can create four different color schemes in your project. So just to kind of give you an idea of how that turns out. And I chose a fidget spinner. That's a popular <laughs> thing in our current day and time, right? So you would be picking something popular. It doesn't have to be a thing. It can be a person, place thing. It could be Statue of Liberty. It could be Donald Trump. Oh, the Donald Trump ones are really fun. Somebody's done George Washington. So sky's the limit here. Um, have fun with it. Make it meaningful. Um, make us laugh if you want to. That'd be fun too. All right. So good luck with that. When you uh, finish up with your project, you are going to submit your JPEG and your GIMP file to the Project One Dropbox and do that by Sunday. Thank you.